my boy. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I am a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. And really quickly, before we get into this reaction of RM from BTS, if you are new, make sure to join the family, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to improve your singing, I want to be your vocal coach, check out my website. The link is down in the description. Check out Singer. It's my singing training program. You can take a free lesson. It's 15 minutes. It will improve your voice over 10 thousand people have gone through that lesson and I'm talking beginners like me when I was first starting off thinking I couldn't sing to save my life it was bad you guys I'm telling you all kinds of people at all different levels have gone through that free lesson and almost everybody literally like 99.9% .9 of people have told me that they have heard an improvement in their voice afterwards and so I want you to give that lesson a try and hear it for yourself hear the improvement for yourself, and then I think you'll be excited to join the full program. You'll get instant access to 70 hours of the best singing training you can get your hands on, and you'll have access to my private community where you can personally ask me questions. As soon as I hear you singing, you can send in videos of you singing within Singer, and as soon as I hear you, I will know exactly what we will need to work on. It's a great way to network with me, network with other singers. I could go on and on and on. I'll stop it, I'll stop it. But make sure to check out Singer before you move on to this next video. Okay, let's get into this. My boy can rap. And I said something in another video that I wanted to clear up. I said, I don't think rapping takes much skill. With rapping, so much of it is understanding rhythm, understanding cadence, finding your unique articulation. I mean, there's a, there's a lot that goes into it. Don't get me wrong, it takes skill, okay? So I didn't mean to say that rapping doesn't take any skill. Basically, when I said what I did in that other video, I meant it to be an encouragement to people like RM just saying props because he can really rap. Like There are many rappers out there who are very talented. I just think that some of the mumble rap nowadays that's coming out here in the States or like YouTubers becoming rappers, I mean, I think honestly just kind of waters down the art form. You know, like a YouTuber who does a very simple cadence on a beat and calls himself a rapper, calls herself a rapper. And that's more what I meant why I wasn't the biggest fan of rap. But with people like in our room who have so much talent, there's so much going on here that we're gonna dive into. But um, I just wanted to clear that up to say that guys and girls like RM who can really, really rap, who are switching up their cadence, switching up their flow, have an understanding of rhythm directly on the beat, right on the beat, knowing when to be right on, knowing when to be a little bit behind, right? He has such a unique articulation and way that he phrases, the grit, the compression that he adds to his voice when he's rapping. See, there's so many things I could go off on than just some rappers nowadays who will just go on and it's a beat and they're just like, Da 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 You see what I'm saying? Just a super simple cadence like that. That's what I was talking about. Where it's like, okay, yeah, that doesn't really take much skill. And his swagger too, you have to give it up for his swagger. I think so much of being a rapper, being a, being a rapper, a successful rapper rather, is the swagger, the energy that you bring to the stage. And he brings so much energy and you can feel the passion. Leave a comment, do you agree? You can just feel the passion, the energy coming from RM in these performances. He's right on the offbeat, but listen how he switches up. Ah. <laughs> My guy. So I grew up a drummer, okay? And I actually used to teach drums as well. I grew up playing in bands until I was about 17 as a drummer. And I still love the drums. Drumming is as I had drumsticks in my hands when I was two, and so I have a, a deep understanding of rhythm, of, of being right on the tempo, knowing how important it is to being right on the beat, right on with the tempo, what we call in the pocket. 
and he nailed it. And that was such an intricate cadence, switching up between the onbeat, the offbeat. I mean, it was so intricate and he killed that and he nailed it, staying right on. That was so good. And if you want to hear a diff, a, an example of somebody who is off the beat, just for contrast, just so you can better understand, go listen to a rapper named Blueface, okay? And you will you will have a better understanding of what it what it sounds like to uh, have no understanding of rhythm or being on the beat. <laughs> The grit and compression that he adds to his vocals almost kind of reminds me of a little bit of Eminem, not really, but just sometimes when Eminem will start to add that kind of grit, that compression to his voice, the way RM does. I hope that RM is also utilizing his false folds when he really adds in that grit so that he doesn't just burn out his voice. And maybe I'll get into that in a whole nother lesson, a whole nother topic. So RM, look into utilizing your false folds for some of that grit if you already aren't, because we want to hear you rapping like this for many, many more years to come. I love it. This is awesome. I just love this grit, vocals and in rapping. So that was the first time on, on one of his phrases that I heard him barely get ahead of the beat. <laughs> no one would notice that. You didn't notice that. Okay, this is the inner drummer in me, right? Who was just like schooled, stay on the beat, stay with the beat, stay with the beat. That's okay, it still sounds great. Ooh, a little melody there. Yes. This is the stylization that he adds. It's just so captivating. Come on, come on. I'm not just saying this because I react to BTS a lot, okay? I think some people might think, oh, you're just saying that because other people leave in the comments. Guys, I would tell you the truth no matter what you would say in the comments, okay? And sometimes I do, and sometimes I know you guys leave me comments like, well, da 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 and I love it. I love the dialogue. I'm telling you what I believe to be true, okay? And giving you my opinion regardless. And RM is, Truly, his his voice is one of my favorite rap voices, and his I think he's he's, I mean up up there in in one of the more talented rappers. And obviously, I don't know um, his lyricism because I don't speak the language that he raps in most of the time. But I would imagine that that's also great as well. And that's that's a lot of the skill of rapping is as well is being a good lyricist and. Um, having that kind of wordplay that you need as a rapper. So that also goes into the skill. Um, but right now we're, we're more looking at it because I, I don't understand what <laughs> what he's saying. We're just looking at the mechanics of his voice and how he's doing everything. It's really great. And that's live because you can hear the sibilance, meaning the, p -p, the air coming out from some consonants. See what I'm saying? And I listened to a little video of him speaking briefly before I knew that I was going to do this video. And I'll have to do a whole um, video as well soon on analyzing their speaking voices to their singing voices of every member in BTS. But I will say that I heard him speak and he also has that very nice baritone low speaking voice that I would have guessed. Imagine if like, imagine if I would have heard him speak and he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> No, it's, it was a very low, is what I imagined. And he even has a little bit of that grit in his speaking voice, which is something that I, I would have assumed. So it's really good. Oh, I like this. Ooh. Come on. Mm. 
Doing a little singing there? Right on the beat. Ooh, okay, so I also like how he's he's adding some melodies into his raps and he's doing a pretty good job of it. I know that's hard to do as a rapper, but he's staying on pitch for the most part, which I also appreciate that he's not lip syncing. Sometimes he'll get off pitch. That's okay, he's a rapper. Um, but it also shows that he's not just lip syncing and they're not just tuning or adding a tuning plugin to his live vocals. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it there for part one. Leave a comment down below if you want part two. That was amazing. There are, I'm sure there are so many great performances from him that I haven't seen yet that I would be able to just go off on and I'd be able to analyze and give feedback. It really is incredible. And again, I'm not just saying this, okay? He is really one of my favorite rappers. And the reason that he's one of my favorite rappers is because he utilizes so many techniques that we use in singing, right? So going between a breathier tone and a more gritty compressed tone. He's even incorporating melodies into his rapping. So sometimes he's adding a melody. It's what I would call a melodic rap. And then he's going in and out of a melody to just straight rapping, straight rapping, hitting it hard. But the thing that I really love the most about RM is that he is always on beat. He can play with that beat. He can get a little bit behind the beat in the middle of his phrase, but he's always back on with what we call the on beat. Okay, and if it's just a normal four, four, four on the floor beat, okay, without getting too confusing or getting into time signatures and uh, <laughs> different cadences, different rhythms, basically it'd be, this is the on beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The off beat, I'm gonna say an and, okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. All those ands, and, 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 da, da, da. That's the offbeat, all right? And he's able to go back and forth with accentuating the onbeat on his phrase to accentuating the offbeat, to nailing it, to slowing down just a tiny bit in the middle of the phrase, dragging a little bit, and then coming back right in on that onbeat and just punching it, punching it, punching it, which is so important. And again, it drives me crazy, crazy. When I hear rappers who get off of the beat, it drives me crazy. I'm like, you had one job. <laughs> one job. <laughs> but that's okay. It's all good because RM nails it. And he is an example of an extremely, extremely talented rapper. And in that other video, when I was like, rapping doesn't take skill, that came across wrong, okay? Rapping takes skill. And rapping is an art form. And rapping completely took over here in the States. And I love it. When I'm in the gym, I'll, I'll be listening to rap, okay? I, I will. So I, I, I totally get it, okay? I, I love rap as an art form. But a lot of rap in the culture today, I believe, truly, I could teach you in two days. I could teach you in a weekend. Because I would just have to teach you a basic cadence. There's some of these cadences, like, like a... Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da, ba -da -ba -ba da 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 All these little cadences are just so overused in pop culture. Ba da ba da ba, ba da ba da ba. She might let her and I go. Then you wanna take it though. It's just so. It's like everyone uses them. So I could literally teach you a, a few cadences. I could give you a simple understanding of rhythm and a simple understanding of time signatures and how to ensure that you are on beat. And after you understood that, you could be a rapper and you'd be a lot better than half of these YouTube rappers out here. So I'm, I'm just saying that's what I meant. And I meant it in, a, in terms of in, in giving guys and girls like RM props who are actually talented at rapping and do the art form justice because I believe that there are a lot of people out here who are not doing the art form justice and I would feel the same way if a lot of singers were in pop culture and it was just auto tunes like crazy crazy they couldn't actually sing I'd be coming on here saying the same exact thing and that hasn't happened yet so uh, I guess we'll see what happens 
but but anyway yeah i mean i just that that's what i meant so i just want to clarify here okay anyway hope that you enjoyed this don't forget if you want to learn how to sing because if you can sing you can do anything i'm telling you you can rap you can do all kinds of things with your voice you have to have an understanding of vocal coordinations and, and how it works and singing and practicing it's just so amazing i want that gift for you i used to not be able to sing to save my life now i'm a professional singer and if i can do it anybody can so take that free lesson okay the link is down in the description like i'm getting super passionate now i'm waking up finally when i first turned the camera on, i'm like man i'm a little tired i'm waking up now we're talking about singing so anyway Make sure to go do it. You got to put in your reminders. I'm not going to let you guys get away without at least taking the free lesson because I want you to be confident in your singing voice. Life is just better when you're singing. I'm telling you, I could go on for hours. Tons of love. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Who you are is beautiful. Cut you straight down to the car Do they know you feel pain? Do they know they're the same? I guess they don't You're in the atmosphere You're